Could 21,000 be the next resistance for Nasdaq? How soon it is going to get there and if there are any risks, market may correct even before or after reaching this target. In today's tutorial, we will learn about the rules and how to construct effective trend lines and its parallel lines to trade and manage Nasdaq for this season. My name is Con Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into this subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And there are two reasons for Nasdaq to maintain this bullish trend. Number one is the hope of AI and the birth of ChatGPT at the end of 2022, which for the first time it gave investors tangible ideas about the potential of investing into AI stock. And number two is the hope of inflation easing to 2%. As long as these two reasons are in play, and I believe that Nasdaq trading strategy is to continue buying into dips until this target level. And let's first discuss about how to construct effective trend line. And there are two rules to it. Number one is that we have to find at least three significant troughs, which we're going to describe to you very shortly. And number two is to connect them to its best fit. Now, let me just go to this chart itself and I'm going to delete off. Now, how to draw this parallel line? First, we have to have the rules in how to construct this uptrend line. And this is what I'm going to do here. Rule number one is that we have to find at least three significant troughs. And I found one, the lowest point here. And number two rule is that we try to connect them to its best fit. At least three, the more the merrier. And what I could see here is that I found at least three, if in fact there's almost four, if you can see that. And you, I'm just gonna put a pause here, just expand them a little bit to let you appreciate a little bit further. And I could see that there's one significant trough, uh, maybe two here, but I would say that this is perfect two. And we have perfect three. Now, once we have this understanding, this is what I call the uh, effective uptrend line, then it makes a perfect sense to do a parallel line up. And I'm going to delete this off. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to parallel this. I'm going to clone. And I may fit into this point here. And all these are significant points because uh, in every candlestick, there are four points, open, high, low, close. I may decide to choose to put it at the closing bar or even at a high. Now, you have to try that as an error. But at least I know that, first of all, we first started with identifying how to construct an effective uptrend line, which there are rules being spelled to you. It's very clear on that. And then what I'm going to do here is that I prefer to maybe for the time being to put at the closing price and you could see that how I project this up and this could be a effective uptrend parallel line and this could be a potential target which is as time progress this could be at maybe at 21,000 as you could see here around 21,000 as you could see as time progress so this will be my target and Let's look at how to trade and manage NASDAQ towards 21,000. This is as time progress, it may reach 21,000. And let's look at the weekly chart right now. And what I'm seeing here is that we could see that this is the parallel lines. And we're going to discuss about how I'm going to manage the trade. So basically, as long as the two rules are there, the hope of AI is still there. And number two, the inflation may continue to move down to 2% is there. These are the two key factor why Nasdaq maintains bullishness. I believe that the strategy is to continue to buying on dip strategy. Now we could see the parallel lines here. And what I'm going to do is that within the weekly chart, I'm going to do this construction of the effective uptrend line. And if you still remember the two rules, the number one is that we have to find at least three significant troughs. And this could be one point here. And this could be two 
or this could be here and this could be one point two three and I found at least three significant points so again number one rule is that you try to find at least three significant trough and number two is that you try to connect them to this best fit and I found at least three right now one two three and I'm going to term this as a primary uptrend line and I'm going to type this in here and within this I'm going to further narrow down and this is what we're going to do here is that I'm going to further narrow down to the daily chart as we could see here and we can see very clearly that we have drawn this parallel line earlier and I'm going to describe to you how to handle them shortly later and this is on the weekly chart we draw a primary uptrend line and now I'm going to further draw to fine tune it to draw a uh, uh, another second uptrend line on the daily chart here and this is what I'm going to do here and I could see uh, pretty clearly that I may want to do this to find at least three significant trough and I kind of like this an effective uptrend line why because I found one significant trough here at the low and this is at the close this is at the opening and this is at the low and this is at the low and this is at the low and I would say that this seems to me on the daily chart is an effective uh, uptrend line and I will turn this as a secondary uptrend line now how am I, am I going to handle this is that earlier I mentioned that let me just correct the spelling here secondary uptrend line now so I'm going to keep it very focused here is that um, as long as the two rules met because of the fundamental reason that why Nasdaq maintained its bullishness number one is that uh, because of the hope of AI and number two is that it seems to me that the inflation is at about 3% and there's a hope that it may come down to 2% so therefore the strategy the bomb dips so in any situation uh, this is the market if it ever come down to here and it's reactive to the secondary uptrend line I may consider the bottom dips on this shorter term uh, perspective on the daily chart but what if is if it broke this secondary uptrend line continue to move down to the primary uptrend line so again I would like to check on the two factor if the hope of AI is still there and number two if the inflation stays staying around three that is sentiment that there's a hope that it may come down two. if this is happening and I may want to buy on dips around here and I will expect that the market to continue to move up to here and target about 21,000 and what if it break below and it start to move down and of course then there is something serious that we have to manage it accordingly and let's go back to this slide here and uh, I think I'm going to delete off these two lines here now in the situation that the market continue to rally and you have reached this 21,000 and it's pretty reactive uh, somewhere around here 21,000 and it kind of form a um, uh, pullback and then I have to check on the inflation now I do suspect that if this is going to happen there's a strong pullback down reaching somewhere around 21,000 is there's a strong pullback down uh, I believe that the hope of AI is still there number one is still there but I do suspect that the inflation may not stay at about three or coming down to two if there's a risk that inflation is climbing up back up to about 3.7 or 4 then I believe that uh, this target may met it could be uh, the next few weeks next few months but I do not know but let's observe very closely how the market is going to perform and of course uh, then by then the mood may have changed I may adopt the uh, strategy of selling into strength instead in our next tutorial We'll continue to apply this effective trend line and parallel lines to the Asia stocks and commodity markets. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to our channel. The market are always telling us on their next move. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.